Hello learners, welcome to IITM student community channel. Today we will be sharing IIT Madras C programming week 1 ES grade data assignment. Subscribe and join our channel to get full access and all our latest updates. So let's begin. Question number 1. You are told that the computer has a 4 GB of RAM as a main memory. How many bits of a storage does the computer have in this memory? So as we know, 1 gigabyte is equal to 10 to the let's count the zeros 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 2. So 10 to the power 9 bytes and 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. Therefore to convert 4 GB to bits, we can use the following calculation. 4 GB multiplied by 10 to the power 9 bytes. So if you multiply this 4 into 8 that will be 32. So 4 GB is equivalent to 32 into 10 to the power 9 bits. So third option will be correct. In the next question, it is said that instead of binary value 0 and 1, suppose a computer could store four different values in a single memory location. So for example, each location would have 0, 1, 2 and 3 instead of only 0 and 1. So, the, so, uh, so options are given 1000 bits, 2000 bits, 2 bit and 1 bit. So if each memory location can store four different values, it means we need two bits to represent each possible value. So uh, it can be represented in four different combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So there are four combinations. Given that there are 1000 such locations, the total memory size in bits can be calculated by multiplying the number of locations by the number of bits required to represent each location. So memory size in bits equal to number of loca locations multiplied by number of bits per location. Memory size in bits 1000 multiplied by 2 which is 2000 bits. Therefore option number 2 will be correct. Now coming on to the fourth question. Which of the following can be valid values for the word length used inside the CPU. So we, need, we know this that maximum val uh, valid value of a word length in a CPU can only be 8 bits. So option A will be correct answer. Coming on to the fifth question. Consider following statements. Define input and output for a given problem. Break the computations into computer prim primitives. Third, map inputs to memory models so that they can be loaded and when needed. Fourth, store the output values in the appropriate part of the memory model. Arrange the above is step in the correct order to carry out the execution of the program. So as we know that storing the value output values in the appropriate part is the last thing we have to do. So this should be in the last so either so there's only one option third will be correct so, but let's check. So first you have to define what is input and what is output of a specific problem entered by the user. Then to the third step. Map input to the memory model so that, that they can be loaded as when needed. So we have a temporary register which stores a temporary value and it's connected to the uh, CPU. So this will be the second step. Third step would be break the computation to computer primitives. So uh, the computation which uh, CPU is required to perform that is being loaded and the fourth and the final step to store that output of that problem into the permanent memory which is the storage. So third option will be correct. Coming on to the sixth question. Suppose you need to copy the value of memory location data 1 to data 2. Identify the appropriate sequence of the step to take this. First, CPU sends the address of location data 1 to the memory. CPU sends the address of data 2 to the memory. CPU sends the 
value of memory location data 1 to CPU. CPU sends the value of R to the location data 2 to in the memory. 5. CPU loads the value of uh, from the memory data 1 into register R. 6. CPU stores the value from R to memory location data 2. So we have to arrange this in a correct order. So first of all data is loaded into the temporary memory. So first would be the correct. The first thing we do. So either th third and fourth would be correct. We know this. Now memory sends the value of memory location data 1 to CPU. This is the required step to loading the input values to the CPU. Then CPU loads the value from the memory location data 1 into register R. Register R is the temporary memory which stores the uh, data temporarily which is loaded from the main memory. Then the second CPU sends the address of data 2. Data 2 is the next next data which is after data, data 1 stored in the after data 1. Then CPU sends the value of R to location data 2 in a memory. Then the sixth, memory store the value from R to memory location data 2. Then just save the data in the main memory. So option number 3 would be correct. So this is the question. Equation is given. So we have to perform the computation on this. So in the seventh question. Also consider following step for the equation. So a T1, T1 stores this value. T1 stores this value. Now T2 is 2 multiplied by T1. So now we have the value of this portion. Now T4 is R plus H. So this is a T4. T5 is T3 into T4. This is T4. We have not defined the T3 digit yet. So T, uh, so T3 would should be this uh, second option. R multiplied by T2 because because see this is the only portion which has not been defined in the program. Now in the uh, in the fifth step T5 stores the value of T3 and T4. So that completes the whole equation. And A is the A stores the output, which is T5. Next question. Consider memory model where R and H are located at the memory location M1 and M2 respectively. The result A has to be stored at the location M3. A is the output which uh, in the previous we have defined as a T5. Consider the following steps as per to compute the value of A. So it is storing at 22 by 7 in M4. So 22 is stored in M4. Next. M5 stores 2 multiplied by M4. So this is also done. Rather than M6 equal to M1 plus M2. So it is given that R plus R and H are located at the M1 and M2. We know that. So M6 is just the addition of that. So this is a R plus H which is M1 and M2. And M7 is M1 which is R multiplied by R plus H. R multiplied by R plus H. So we have to connect this equation. To connect this equation, M3 should be defined as M7 multiplied by the M5. So 
So moving on to the next question, which is question number nine. So this says that consider the following sequence of algorithmic steps for computation using the temporary storage T1 and T2. It is a, lo a looping process. So T1 is, de uh, is defined as a 2 and T2 is defined as 1. Now T1 equal to T1 plus T1 which is just, just the double of it. And T2 is incrementing by 1. Just it is adding to 1 at every step. Now it is said that T2 should be lesser than lesser or equal than K. Now we don't know the K. And it is given that after the execution of all the steps, the value of T1 comes out to be 4096. So see, T2 is incrementing by 1 and T1 is getting double at every step. Do you get it? We have to divide T2, the value of uh, 4096 by 2 at every step and check at after uh, how many times it comes to 2. So we are doing that only. So 4096 divided by 2 which will be equal to 2048. This is step number 1. Then 2048 divided by 2 which is 1024. Then 1024 divided by 2 equal to 512. 512 divided by 2 which is 256. 256 divided by 2 and so on. So let's count the number of steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 steps. Consider the following sequence of algorithmic steps for computation using temporary storage T1 and T2. So this is a set of instructions is given and T1 is defined as 2 and T2 is defined as 1 and T1 equal to T1 plus T2 T1 T2 equal to T2 plus 1 so T2 is just a one step increment and T1 is just a double of T1 the previous value so if T2 is less than or equal to K go to step 3 which is repeating the steps Otherwise, just end. And this asked after the execution of the above step, the value of T1 is found to be 4096. The value of K is. So the every step, T1 is getting double. Which means we have to divide the, va the final value of T1, which is 4096 by 2 again and again till, the, uh, initial val till we get the initial value of T1 and then counts the number of steps and that's the value of t2 and to find the value of k t2 should be equal to k then if the if the value of t2 is equal to k then only the execution will stop then the uh, this condition will get false and then the execution will stop so we have to find the value of t2 so to the do the calculation part 4096 divided by 2 equal to 2048 2048 divided by 2 which is 1024, 1024 divided by 2 which is 512 and so on. So let's count the number of steps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So there are 11 steps. It means the value of k and the value of t2 both are 11. So the answer would be 11. Thank you.